stereotypes that are associated with being a woman and starting a new company and most of them are actually, are actually more based on our own attitudes and fears and perhaps personalities and working in the space that I'm working in it's, it's I think it's double the dose of challenges because it's mostly a male dominated space and any technology based company or startup or enterprise it has its challenges that are mostly dealing with stereotypes. And finding, finding your purpose is very important. And I think most of the challenges I was able to address them head on because what we are doing at Shure Direct is something which it, it goes way past what we are facing as challenges. There are several things that can hinder a woman to enter into the technology and innovation space. I think the first one is that we're used to seeing mostly men in such spaces or in such industry. And I think that kind of builds us a perception that we have, um, I mean, it can be a woman in such a space or a woman cannot really produce something or develop something that can have an impact or an outcome. But I think um, the other thing which, which I've also seen in such a, in such, um, a strong way is that it's a tough industry and so some women also try to get into and I think in some ways they kind of just it's um it's a space where you really have to learn to focus more on collaborations and I think sometimes women being multitaskers they think that they want to they want to do everything and perhaps because it's a situation where you really have to learn to collaborate and capitalize on other people's strengths you find yourself overworking yourself or you find yourself not producing the intended results because you're not really opening up for collaborations or you're depending on yourself and your capacity and in that way you end up failing very fast. I think the other thing which, which really hinders women to get into technology or innovation spaces is the fact that they feel like they don't have the necessary skills and yes in most cases they will not have the necessary skills and you'll need to get those skills to be able to excel at, at that space. But based on our education system, based on choices that people make when they go to colleges, they find themselves steering away from STEM education, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, for instance. We, most women do not have the knowledge and skills in STEM fields. And so naturally they find themselves sh moving and shying away from STEM industries or STEM spaces. But there's so many things that we can do in STEM. I am not, for instance, I'm not a computer programmer, but I work in a technology space. And I think it's so important for, for such enterprises to thrive, to, to be based on well-rounded approaches, a space where you can have different skills coming together to bring one product or one platform to fruition. And I think that is really based on bringing in different skills and different expertise and different knowledge. And so you find that perhaps you have studied maybe sociology or you have studied political science but what you come to realize is that every skill is needed in a technology or innovation project or developing such a product and so there is no one who is limited and I think everything that we're doing now has to, to be innovative everything that we're doing now has to have a technology component so in that case then every person should be working in a technology or innovation space and there is no skill that is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Studying Shure Direct came out of my own experience um, as a woman, as, as a young mother, how I encountered technology and it really helped me to be able to, because I, 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 I was studying while I was having my two children, so it really helped me to be able to multitask, to be a young mother, to be a wife and to also be a student. And perhaps, I hope, I truly hope that perhaps that is what helped me to be able to do all of them well, I hope it is well, uh, and to be able to really achieve at, at the different levels, uh, all that I wanted to achieve, which was through the assistance of technology. So I really feel like technology is a convenient that we all need. I think technology comes with such an ease um, and access, and it really enables us to be able to achieve so much more that we wouldn't be able to achieve if it weren't for technology. Looking at technology in a development space, especially social development, I think technology enables a woman to leapfrog so many hurdles 
and to really speed up that development process. It could be at a personal level, it could be at a family level, it could be at a community level. We now have M-Pesa, for instance. M-Pesa is an SMS, I mean, it's a mobile money platform which is based on a very simple technology for SMS. And you find that a woman could be transacting her onions that she sells at a market with assistance, of course, of maybe for logistics person in between, but then she's able to actually engage in trade effectively through mobile money, and you did not have that. And so on that particular day, she's actually advancing herself economically, but also socially. There are so many opportunities for women in the, in the innovation and tech space. And, okay, no offense to men, but I really feel like women should get, in, should get into this space. I think women have multi-facets of, of perspectives, of emotions, and I really feel like when you see a technology that doesn't have a soul, I can bet you on it, it doesn't have a woman behind it. But when you see technologies that are developed with a woman behind it, it actually has character, it has a soul, you can actually feel like this is, this is the, it's offering the best experience. Women are data driven by design. We, we, we work with, with information in a very different way from men. I think men are very factual. And perhaps when they see a fact, they wouldn't want to get to the, be like what really happened behind this fact? They wouldn't really want to, to understand um, the, the birth of that fact, for instance. Like how did it come to, to be? But women will really want to, to go a step further. And I think that is very important as you're developing technical products, for instance, or technology-based platforms, or innovating for that matter, because then you really have to understand your user, and women are naturally good at that. Well, look at the health sector, for example. You find that women are the ones who suffer the most in, in, in the health systems or the health sector, and if we have access to more information, it could be for reproductive health. It could be nutrition information for their children, for their families' welfare, and I really think because we understand these challenges, we are very well placed to create solutions that are addressing the context and the issues in that context. And women should also, should also be very well placed to actually look at a holistic approach to these solutions because then when they, when they are involved in, let's say, um, a family or a work environment, it's so important for them to actually look at all the different perspectives of that challenge. And so, yes, opportunities are there. It's just a matter of enabling them enabling them, because that's also very important. A woman has to enable herself, but also to be enabled to address those challenges. I would like to encourage every woman listening to me, especially young women, that they should get into technology and innovation space. This is a space where you can actually be anything and there is no right or wrong answer. This is a space where you can experiment and you never know where that experiment and those iterations can take you. It's a space where you see a challenge and you start thinking of a situation where you are addressing those challenges and you bring what you see to life. I think it's so important to be able to allow yourself to dream, thinking of different ideas and starting to work on them. But what is very beautiful about innovation is the fact that you keep on applying yourself, you keep on applying your knowledge, you keep on applying your skills, you work with your users or you work with your target market until you get it right. That ability to actually get something to grow, it is beautiful. I think it's the best way to create solutions and innovations, innovation allows that. Innovation thrives on that. It loves the fact that you can actually keep on iterating until you perfect it and there is never a moment where you can actually perfect it. Technology is ever-changing, technology is very fast-paced, and so it's a, it's a space where it's constantly moving, and it's a space where you can actually thrive if you, you like the idea of evolving with your society, evolving with the behaviors of your users, evolving with the patterns of growth that you see and that you can create solutions for.